In this video, I'm going to teach you five powerful public speaking tips for beginners or newbies. If you are a newbie or beginner and want to learn to speak in public. So this is in a series and I'm going to keep sharing this. If you are new to this channel, just uh, click uh, on the like button, subscribe to get more updates. My name is Brian Mustafa and I believe in you and I've been training people to speak in public for the past 10 years. So let's move straight and talk about the five powerful public speaking tips uh, that you can use and that can help you speak in public with confidence. So number one is that you need to know your audience. Most of the times we want to speak in public, we feel like we have the experience or we have the skills but we don't take time to know our audience. If you know your audience, it will help you to prepare. If you understand your audience, it will help you to win your presentations. For example, if I'm going to speak to high school kids, students, the atmosphere and the preparation is different from speaking to executives or company CEOs or staff of a particular organization. So that takes into uh, uh, account what you're going to do, how you're going to prepare, and all the things that you need to do to be able to what win that presentation. If you are speaking to students, it's a different ball game. If you are speaking to staff and even employees of a company, you need to even put them into categories: their income levels, uh, their experience level, and all those things will come into your preparations. So you need to understand your audience serve them well. Don't just go there and feel like I am the aspect of the topic and I know everything. So I don't even need to understand the audience. And it happened to me. Once I was speaking to like a group of people, I didn't do background checks. I just felt like I could teach them, I could speak to them. And when I went there, they were like a, a different type of audience that I was expecting. So I had to change the game. So it simply tells you that no matter what you do, no matter how you do, learn to know your audience. Number two, is rehearse and practice. Before you do a presentation, you need to rehearse your presentation. You need to practice. Practice simply means you keep on doing it daily and daily and daily. But once you know that you're going to speak to you tomorrow, start rehearsing your presentations. No matter what it is, put that in your mind. Prepare, plan, practice. And once you keep on practicing, you will become confident. You become comfortable of your presentations and you can be able to deliver that. If you don't rehearse, if you don't practice, when you go there, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. Because if you practice, it puts you what? A mile ahead of uh, your competitors. And you are able to what? Believe in yourself, you're confident because you know that that particular presentation, you've rehearsed that, you've practiced that, and you can make a difference. So then number three, that you need to know your material. You need to know your material. Some people, uh, in my course of training people or coaching people, sometimes I ask them, what is your biggest mistake? Or what is your fear of speaking in public? They're telling me that once they start to speak, the first five minutes is always difficult. So that once they, they don't know how to start, so, but if they start, they can move on to the next 15, even one hour, they can do three hours, but the first five minutes is always crucial. And this is that they don't know their material. They don't know what they are using to present. So they want to go on stage and figure it out. That's not possible. You need to know your material first to guide you. You need to know your material to help you speak. So if you know your material, if you know what you are going to deliver on, you have an outline of a presentation. For example, if you go on stage, you know that first I'm going to introduce myself, second I'm going to thank the organizers, and I'm going to uh, introduce my presentation. Of I'm going to go into details of my presentation, that's the body of my presentation, and finally I'm going to conclude. So what are the storylines I'm going to start with? So you have an outline and you know your material well. And you also need to know, am I using PowerPoint? I'm just using uh, normal manuscript delivery. So you need to know all these dif uh, differences and that will help you to prepare well, that will help you to know what you're going to deliver and above all, you need to research and know the topic that you're going to talk about and know the content of what you're going to say. 
So it helps you to position yourself. So as a newbie, you need to, this is a very critical uh, tool that you need to know, know your material. Because if you don't know your material, you may be confident, but you don't know what to say. So know your material and move on. The fourth one I want to talk about is eye contact. So this is very important also. If you want to communicate to people, if you are having a phone, you want to make a call, you are not connecting to the people. You call someone, maybe I call somebody, and like the, it's not connecting to the person's line. You can never speak, or you could never say something to be able to listen to the person. You need to either establish a connection before you can speak. Because if the line cannot be rich, you can't make an impact. You cannot speak. And the same applies to public speaking. If you don't directly connect the people and get their emotions, you may be speaking, they may listen to you, but you're not connecting. So public speaking is all about connecting, connecting to your audience and letting them understand what you have in your what mind. So the first part of it is make eye contact with them because you want to buy into their emotions. Let me ask you a question. The times you go to a presentation or public speaking event or a webinar, whatever it is, and you go home and you don't even realize what the people said. You can't even remember what they said about at the presentation because they fail to connect with you. They fail to connect directly with you. So eye contact can help you establish that connection. And sometimes you are sitting in a public speaking event and someone is speaking. Maybe it could be a pastor, an imam, or a leader, or whatever. And you feel like the person was talking directly to you because you feel like the person was just looking at only you. The reality is that you're not the only one the person was looking at, but the person is establishing that eye contact with you and makes you feel personal. It makes the message personal to you. So you need to establish eye contact, make that work and to reach out to more people and if you are also on screen you are recording youtube videos you are recording whatever you are doing your lens is your eye contact your lens is your phone or camera whatever you are using the lens is the eye contact you should be looking at because the more you look at that lens the more you're connecting to the people who are going to watch but if you are watching away like i was doing my watching my screen and all those things you notice and I'm drifting away from what? My audience. So your audience should be your camera lens or whatever it is that you're using. But if you are physically speaking to the people, establish that eye contact with them. Devise means and ways to look at them strategically. Five seconds, two seconds, three seconds, and you move on. And that makes their, your presentation personal to them and it connects with them. The final one I want to talk about is to ask for feedback. Sometimes we don't ask for feedback because we feel like we know it all. We feel like we are the best. But you make some mistakes. And once you keep asking for feedback, so you get to correct those mistakes to prepare you to the next presentation so that you can go to give your all. You can master courage and do more. So feedback is very critical when, you can, when it comes to public speaking. Learn to ask for feedback. But the reality that is that it's painful when people tell you that okay you did this which is not good you did that which is not what wasn't good next time do this a b c d they may not be experts but they're just giving you their opinion about what you should be doing so you don't need to take all and just start implementing all you need to look at that it will if it is a genuine feedback you try to implement it in your next presentation but all in all it's going to help you serve the people well. My name is Phil Remains Ibrahim Mustafa. I believe in you, but I believe that there are things that you still help uh, do to help you build your confidence. And I'm always available to give you a one-on-one -on -one training as to how to speak in public with confidence and to utilize the power of social media, whether you're doing YouTube videos, whether you're doing network marketing, whether you're an art or a coach. This and I can help you tell your messages to your audience. I believe in you, I believe in the power of your dreams. Subscribe to this channel for more because I have more for you. My name is Tudor Mins Mustafa. Goodbye.